and the government to offer special incentives to support 75 startups in areas of telemedicine, artificial intelligence and digital health to coincide with Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. A soft prosthetic hand allows the wearer to grasp delicate objects such as cakes and berries. Sounds interesting, right? Why the changing color of our street lights could be a danger for our insect populations. Let's see more about these interesting stories from the world of science. I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's move on to story number one. And the Government of India will soon launch a special incentive scheme to support 75 startups in areas of telemedicine, digital health and artificial intelligence to coincide with the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav being celebrated from the 15th of August this year. The scheme will be launched by the Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council, Birak, a public sector enterprise under the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. In addition, an e-office of Birak has also been launched. Birak has lent funding support to over Rs. 2,128 crores to more than 1,500 startups, enterprises and SMEs. By the year 2024, Birak targets to support more than 10,000 BT startups. And let's move on to story number two. Well, a soft prosthetic hand that can hold soft, delicate items sounds interesting, right? It may be a great relief for people having amputations. Researchers from the Shanghai Jiao Tong University in China, led by Jiang Yang Xu and his colleagues, have developed a resilient prosthesis for people with amputations below the elbow. The device boasts a 3D printed palm and five jointed digits containing silicon tubes that are moved with pressurized air. Electrical signals from four arm muscles control the hand, which has five configurations. The components used in the team's version cost less than $500. The prosthetic hands controlled through nervous system signals can cost more than US dollars 10,000. The hand is also considerably more lightweight than the competitors thanks to a bag worn at the waist that contains the battery and the electronics used to turn the arm signals into movement instructions. The bag also carries the pumps and valves used to supply air. This lightweight prosthetic hand can grasp strawberries without crushing them and still works after being hit with a hammer or run over by a 1.5 ton vehicle. And moving on to the next story. Street lights may make moth caterpillars plump up faster, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Life on Earth has evolved alongside predictable cycles of day and night. But this pattern has become increasingly blurred. Between 2012 and 2016, satellite measurements revealed that the global area polluted by artificial street light grew by 2% each year, intruding over deeper into biodiversity hotspots like tropical forests. Globally, insect populations are in a long decline. The magnitude of these losses can vary significantly from region to region because Insects are cornerstones of most ecosystems. Their loss threatens to destabilize everything from bird populations to crop pollination. LEDs used in street lights typically emit white light. White sodium lamps have a characteristic yellow glow. This change in the color of artificial light is predicted to have major consequences for wildlife. And that's because white LEDs emit light across the entire visible spectrum. The more wavelengths emitted, the greater the diversity of species and biological processes that are likely to be disrupted. And insects are known to be more sensitive to shorter, bluer wavelengths of light, which are largely absent from sodium lighting. And biological processes that are controlled by daylight and internal circadian rhythms, such as reproduction, are more likely to be disrupted by or prevented by white LEDs. To investigate how the shift towards white LED lighting is affecting insects, researchers led by Douglas Boys from the UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology, Newcastle University, and Butterfly Conservation turned their attention to moth 
caterpillars. Moths are certainly not the only group of insects to suffer from light pollution, but they are best studied. Adults can fly large distances in their lives, but their caterpillars don't disperse far from where they hatched from an egg. This allowed them to make more precise estimates of how lighting affects local populations. And the results published in Science Advances were striking. Lighting reduced the numbers of caterpillars by between one and a half and one third. Detailers almost universally had lower numbers than their darker counterparts. Sites and white LEDs also had a steeper reduction in numbers compared to sites with sodium lamps. And solving other biodiversity threats like climate change often means long delays between taking action and seeing the benefits. But when it comes to light pollution, there are no such lag effects between action and outcome. If lights are switched off or at least dimmed during the early hours, darkness returns immediately. Our wildlife would be expected to recover quickly. And with this, this is a wrap on this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Stay tuned to India Science every Friday at 9 p.m. And keep watching Science Time. Namaskar. Music